Get your Bibles quickly. We're going to go to the book of 2 Kings, chapter 6, verses 24 through 29, and then 7. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And it came to pass after mm. this mm. that Ben Hadad, king of Syria, gathered all his hosts and went up and besieged Samaria. Besieged Samaria. Samaria. Mm -hmm. And there was a great famine in Samaria. Mm -hmm. And behold, they besieged it mm -hmm. until an ass head was sold for four score pieces of silver and the fourth part of a cup of dove's dung. Hey. For five they were selling dung. Dung, oh. Do do. Number number two. Dung, do, do. They were selling number two. Yes, yeah, so number two. <laughs> okay, let's go. They were selling a cup of dung's dung for five pieces of silver. And as the king of Israel was passing by upon the wall, there cried a woman unto him, saying, Help my lord, O king. And he said, If the Lord do not help thee, when shall I help thee? Out of the barn flower or out of the wine press? And the king said unto her, What aileth thee? And she answered, This woman said unto me, Give thy son that we may eat him today, uh, and we will eat my son tomorrow. Hey. So we boiled my son and we did eat him. And I said unto her on the next day, Give thy son, that we may eat him. And she had hid her son. Ah, chapter 7. seven. One, two, three. Yes. Then Elijah said, Hear ye the word of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Thus says the Lord, Tomorrow, about this time, shall a measure of fine flour be sold for a shekel. And two measures of barley for a shekel in the gate of Samaria. Mm -hmm. Then a lord on his hand, the king Lim answered the man of God and said, Behold, if the Lord will make windows in heaven, might this thing be? And he said, Behold, thou shalt see it with thy eyes but thou shalt not eat thereof. Three, and there were four leprous men at the entering of the gate, and they said one and not to another, why sit here mm -hmm. we die? Why sit here we here? Here at this gate of yes. problem. Here at this gate of affliction. Here at this gate of no solution. Here at this gate of setback. Yes. Here at this gate of stagnation. Yes. Here at this gate of trouble. Yes. Why should I pitch a tent on this gate? Lift up your hands and pray this prayer. I shall not stand at the gate of my affliction. I shall not stand at the gate of my affliction. I shall not die at the gate of my trouble. I shall not die at the gate of my trouble. I shall not die at the gate of my frustration. I shall not die at the gate of my frustration. I shall not die at the gate of my setback. I shall not die at the gate of my setback. I shall not die at the gate of my sickness. I shall not die at the gate of my sickness. I shall not die at the gate of poverty. I shall not die at the gate of poverty. Say, hear the voice of the Lord. Hear the voice of the Lord. You power sitting at the gate. You power sitting at the gate. You power standing at the gate. You power standing at the gate. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. I am moving out from this gate. I am moving out of this gate. Because by this time tomorrow. Because by this time tomorrow. I prophesy to my life. I prophesy to my life. According to the word of the Lord. According to the word of the that Lord. That by this time tomorrow. My gate, of affliction my gate of affliction will become a gate of solution. Gate of solution. My gate of bondage gate of will bondage. become a gate of deliverance. Somebody shout yes. Yeah. Yeah. The Lord told me to tell you today you shall not die. Amen. At the gate of your trouble. Yes, prophet. 
you will not die at the gate of your problem. Yes, perfect. By this time tomorrow, yes, that gate that has been fighting you, it will change. Amen. Amen. I said it will change. Amen. Amen. The gate of problem, the gate of bondage. I speak to you as a prophet. Yes, prophet. The prophet Elisha. Yes, prophet. Turned the the DNA of the gate of the people of Israel. Yes, prophet. I come to change the DNA of your gate. Yes, preacher. I said I come to change the DNA of your gate. Yes, preacher. By this time tomorrow. Yes, I said I speak to somebody today. Speak to God has told me to say to somebody, whatever gate you've been at before with affliction and crying, by this time tomorrow Monday, oh, some of you don't understand the English language. I said by this time tomorrow Monday, I stand in the name of that is above every name, the name of power, the name of solution, the name of healing and deliverance. By this time tomorrow, your gate of affliction will be a gate of solution in the name of Jesus. What gate are you in? You need to make a decision today. The lepers were there with everybody. Everybody at the gate dying, dying, dying at the gate. They say, ah. Why sit we here? You need to make a decision. Yes, prophet. Hmm? Yeah, yeah. You need to make it. You decide. Yes, prophet. Eh? Today is your last day of sitting at that gate. Oh, yes, prophet. Yes, 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 prophet. Today, yes, prophet. The Lord said, Yes, prophet. I have already sent a prophet. His name is the prophet of prophets. Yes, prophet. The Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, prophet. Under the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes. And the Holy Ghost have now sent other sub prophets under Him. Yes. To prophesy to you. Yes. That wherever you've been sitting up to now. Yes, Judge. That has caused you calamity. Yes, Judge. Trouble and tears. Yes, Judge. By this time tomorrow. Oh, I receive. I, I'm speaking prophetically. You don't yes, understand. Yes, yes, I'm not just talking words. I'm not just speaking words. I'm not just saying, saying, saying. I'm speaking as a prophet. Yes, I am not diverting your tomorrow to a better tomorrow. Yes, I am calibrating your tomorrow for a better tomorrow. Yes, I speak under the same anointing of Elisha. Yes. Whatever you've been through today, yesterday, last week, last month, last year, yes. by this time tomorrow, you shall move from that gate of affliction in the name of Jesus. Some of you don't receive it because you're looking at me as a man. If you look at me as, as Eddie, I can help you. You look at me as a servant of Jesus, then I can help you. Yes. So you either receive me as Eddie, or you receive me as the servant of God. As a servant of God, the prophet of the Most High. He has given me power. Amen. I receive. Eh? Uh, listen, yes. they, were, they were dying. Yes. Mm? No, there was no solution in the whole city. Pandemic lockdown. Hmm? Yes, prophet. Even, even, even the, the welfare system shut down. Yes, prophet. Pantry people shut down. Yes. City harvest food pantry shut down. They were selling a donkey's head eh, to make yes. soup, pepper soup donkey. And then they would buy the dove's pigeon's dung to sprinkle it inside the soup. Yes, serious. Can you imagine? Doing pancake, not 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 blueberry ones, not chocolate chip ones. Tell us, prophet. Dung ones. The Bible says that God will never leave Himself without testimony. Yes. God always has a voice. Yes, prophet. That will cry out from the wilderness. Yes. Prepare ye the way of the Lord. Yes. Prophet. And make His path straight. Yes, prophet. I come to speak to somebody's wilderness. I come to speak to somebody's problem. Prepare the way of the Lord to, to your place. Prepare the way of the Lord to your situation. I am kind crying as a prophet. The Bible says that I, the word of the prophet Elisha. Oh, I feel to speak to somebody. I come as a prophet and a servant of Jehovah God. I come as a servant of the Lord Jesus Christ. I am not coming in my own credit. Ability. I am not coming in my own credentials. I am coming in the name of the Lord 
of the God of Israel to speak to the people that believe in that God. How many of you believe in the God of Abraham, Isaac, and the Bible says, yes. sit down. Labo Sakataya. Even the women, they were having babies. No food. No food. They say, eh, I have one, you have one. Let's agree on something. Uh, let's cook your child first tonight. We will eat him. Mm? This is look, this happened for real. Don't just look at it as a novel. This was real. The Bible is real. Yes, perfect. Mm? Yes, bro. they were cooking their children. Yes, they boiled the first one. Yeah, can you imagine how many of you have children? Raise your hand. Don't know. Don't, don't. Can you imagine that person next to you that also has a child says to you, Let's boil yours first? Oh, that is serious. Oh, eh? Well, why is God putting that thing in, 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 in the Bible to show you that no matter how bad it seems. God has a way out. Amen. I receive. I said, God has a way out. Oh, receive it, church. Receive it. I see somebody. I see 77 people. 78, 79, 80, 81, 83, 85, 87, 88, 91 of you. I see you exiting that, that gate of your problem. The Lord said, I should tell you, you are already packed and loaded to go. You are ready on your way. Oh, there shall be an exodus of those 91. At least 91 people are leaving that gate. I don't care what type of gate it is. The gate of divorce, you are leaving that gate. The gate of sickness, you are leaving that gate. The gate of setback, you are leaving that gate. The gate of witchcraft, you are leaving that gate in the name of Jesus. Say neighbor, neighbor, are you ready to leave the gate? Are you ready to leave the gate? Say you are already loaded to go. You are already loaded to go. Before the service is over. Before the service is over. Get ready. Get ready. You are going out. Yes. They were boiling their children, eating them. Can you imagine they boil the child? So the question is, they boil him. Did they kill him first and then boil? Or put him like that? And now the child is ah, ah, and the mama is 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 is, is stirring the, the pot. I speak to somebody. Oh, speak to whoever us. wants to boil your destiny. No. Whoever wants to boil your inheritance. No. Whoever wants to boil your offspring. No. Let them catch fire and die in the name of Jesus. Amen. Catch fire. He says they were besieged. Yes. Is that it? Yes. yes they brother. were besieged. Eh, by a king called Ben Haddad of, of where? Syria. Syria. Eh, the, the name Ben Haddad literally means Satan's disciple. In the Hebrew, one of the meaning is Satan's son. Hmm. He was the one causing the besiege of God's people. So who was behind the besiege? Satan. Look at the Bible. You need to look at the Bible and really look at the Bible. Yes, prophet. Hmm? He says they were besieged. Somebody say besieged. Besieged. They couldn't go out. They couldn't come in. Yes, prophet. No food truck going in. Hmm? Yes. Nobody going out. Yes, prophet. So you know what happened to the food supply. Yes, prophet. They were what? Say it again. Besieged. Besieged. What is besieged? The word besieged. Listen. 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 Satan prepares a, a, a gate. And he will try to... To make you sit at the gate huh, for years to come. And when you are sitting at the gate without action, that means you are besieged. No going forward, no going backwards. Yes, the word besiege, somebody say is the word zur. Say zur. Zur. Say it again, zur. Zur. It, it means to cause limitation to your life. Besiege is to cause you to be limited. Yes, you brother. cannot go forward, you cannot go backward. Where are you going? Beseech is our means to block you from moving forward in life. Were they able to move forward during those days? No. Why? Because they were besieged. Besieged also in the Hebrew means to, to cease. Somebody say cease. Cease. Or to hinder. To Somebody hinder. say hinder. Hinder. Cease or hinder you from progress. That's what besiege means. Yes, prophet. To beseech you in the spirit is to impede you from progression. Teach us, prophet. 
Are you listening? We are listening. They were what? Say it again, besiege. Besiege. Besiege also means to watch, watch us. It means to, to, to be put in a bag and a box and lock it with a padlock. Oh, no. I speak to somebody. Speak to us. Whatever power has put your glory inside a box and padlocked it. Yes. I command the padlock to catch fire. Yes, sir. I command the padlock to catch fire. fire. Whoever has taken your glory and put it in a bag, let them die by fire. By fire. Let fire. them die by thunder. Catch let them die by lightning in the name of Jesus. Amen. You don't know the Bible. Be seen. You just read it. You don't know the, 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 this thing. I came to help you. Yes, help us. I came to help you. We need help, help us. Ben Haddad. Ben. Ben Haddad. Son of who? Satan. Beseech them, limit them, block them, prevent them from progressing. Yes, perfect. Put them inside a box and padlock them. Many people are in there. They are saved, but their life is padlocked. But the Lord said, take this ministry of deliverance. Amen. There shall be deliverance at the gate today. Oh, yes, perfect. I said, there shall be deliverance at the gate today. Yes, perfect. I didn't come to negotiate. No. I said, I didn't come to New York to titly wing with anybody. No. I didn't come to play party do with you. No. I said there shall be deliverance at the gate today in the name of Jesus. Amen. I receive. Somebody said there shall be solution at the gate. There shall be solution at the gate. Say I shall not die at the gate of my trouble. I shall not die at the gate of my trouble. Okay, son, son, don't say anything. These people, they are writing on your microphone. Where are you, son? Where are you? Okay, yes, son, sir. leave them. Don't let them be delivered on your word. They need to speak it by themselves. Yes, sir, they need help. They need help. Because you're the one loud. And they're like this. New York. We leave need them help. at the gate. New York, we need help. Should, should we leave them at the gate? No, no. Break through. <laughs> Even the leper people, they say, what do we do? What are we doing here? Some of you are sitting there. They said, why do we sit here? Mm, and there were leopards. Yes, prophet. Not filled with the Holy Ghost, not blood washed. And they made a decision. Yes, prophet. You shall make yours today. Yes, we receive. The Bible says that a prophet, Masuko, yes. spoke a word. Yes, prophet. The voice of the prophet. Yes, my prophet. brother, you don't know the voice of anointed men and women of God in your life. Tell us. Tell you, see, 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 we've been abused, we've been criticized. We've been, we've been, we've been ostracized. We've been assassinated. Yes. All, everything. Yes, perfect. We've been abused. Yes, perfect. Left and right. Yes. The same ones that God has sent to deliver you. Yes, perfect. Are the same one you are abusing. Yes, perfect. I speak to this camera. Speak. Wherever you are. Yes, perfect. Let that prophet in your life, let that pastor, let that apostle, let that evangelist, let that teacher be the one you go to for solution. Amen. They are the emblem of your solution. They have a way out in their mouth for you. Their God will deliver you. Their God will rescue you. Their God will move you from that gate of the problem. Receive that man and woman of God in your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Here's the problem with America. You don't consider the man and woman of God the way they do in Africa, in India, Pakistan. Eh? Mm? Yes, prophet. Oh, that, that's just... The same way they did with Jesus in, in, in Nazareth. Oh, that's just the son of the carpenter. When they looked at just the son of the carpenter, was he able to help them? No. no. Had they received them as the one that, that God sent? Yes, prophet. There would have been healing and miracles galore. Yes. In Nazareth that day. Yes, prophet. The voice of the prophet of God. And let me tell you something. I don't care what theological camp you come from. God is still in the business of speaking. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Who told us the miracles have ceased? No. That's the, that's the devil talking. Who told us that, that, that the Holy Ghost no longer does these things he did in the book of Acts? No. Tell your neighbor, neighbor. Never. Don't let that voice. Don't let that voice. Lie to you. Lie to you. 
Don't let that voice Don't let that keep, voice. You keep you from your inheritance. In the name of Jesus. In the, name of Jesus. the voice of the prophet. Yes. When this was happening, Masuko Toa. I receive. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. He said, I'm seeing what's happening. I'm seeing the calamity of God's people. I am seeing that they are desperate. They're in trouble. They are crying. They are cooking themselves and their children. They don't know what to do. So the prophet had the voice of God within his voice. And he said, hey, hear the voice of the Lord. By this time tomorrow, I don't care how bad the pandemic looks. I don't care how bad your problem looks. I don't care what the doctor said. I don't care what the judges said. By this time tomorrow, at the gate of your Samaria, there shall be a turnaround. They shall. Oh! Some of us, we are in Samaria right now. You are in the Samaria. Yes. That's a Samaria of difficulty. That's a Samaria of, 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 of a problem. Yes. That's a Samaria of discouragement. Yes. That's a Samaria of depression. Yes. But I come as the voice of heaven yes. in the name of Jesus. Yes. Not in my name. No, 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 no. I come in the name of him that called me and anointed me. The name that is above every name. The name that the who everybody must bow to and confess that Jesus Christ is Lord I come to tell somebody that by this time tomorrow I speak as a prophet in the name of the Lord Jesus something is coming to your Samaria there will be a turnaround in your Samaria by this time tomorrow in the name of Jesus Amen I receive Amen I receive Amen you're coming out you're coming out you've been sitting at the gate for two months for six months for one year for five years for 10 years for 15 years for 20 years but i speak uh, in the spirit of elisha i speak you have lost your babies you have lost your pregnancies you have lost your womb but the lord said they will no more boil your babies they will no more boil your pregnancy you're about to give birth to destiny again you are coming out of your Samaria you are coming out of the gate somebody shout hallelujah by this time tomorrow yes watch 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 there's always somebody that doesn't believe the prophet there's always somebody among us yes huh? tell us they know everything the Bible says there was an officer that lean who's the king's a hand will lean upon him and that officer said hey will this really come to pass are you, you, are you, hmm? and the prophet said oh everybody will eat except you tell us everybody will have more than enough but you you will die tell us prophet say neighbor 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 don't let the spirit of that officer enter you don't let the spirit of that prophet enter you it's called the spirit of unbelief it's called the spirit of unbelief he said, by this time tomorrow, watch. Ah, let me read it. I am happy for you. Amen. You see, you see, we that are called to ministry, you know what is our happiness? Our happiness is to see you happy. Amen. Oh, you didn't hear what I said. Our happiness is to see you happiness. I receive. Our joy is to see your joy. I receive. I, I said our joy is to see you in joy. Oh. He said, by this time tomorrow, look at what he says. With this, I'll finish. By time, he said again, by this time. By this time. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Said again, by this time, what? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Elisha said in 7 verse 1, hear the word of the Lord. Now, I, I said, huh? where did God say that? I looked inside the passage. I didn't hear say, I didn't hear God tell him anything. I looked behind the page. I said, did I miss something? I looked behind the Bible. I looked under my bed to see if God was saying. But he said, thus saith the Lord. You don't understand how we speak. People say, did God tell you to say no? Hmm? Tell us, prophet. When I say to you, go, this is going to happen. Thus saith the Lord. You think that God just said this, that, or the other. You don't understand the prophetic. Eh? Teachers, prophet. You don't understand. 
we speak in his stead. Amen. It is called anointing by association. Amen. You see, it pays. It pays for you to be associated to the right source. Amen. My family, my wife, my children. These people are blissful. You, you know, that's, yes, because, that's because somebody said associate. Associate. He said, by this time tomorrow, something is going to happen. Yes, perfect. Somebody said again, but this time tomorrow. By this time he tomorrow. said, hear the word of the Lord. Yes, perfect. Uh, but because of his association with the Lord, he spoke yes. uh, as if God himself was speaking. Yes. So when a prophet, a man, a woman, a pastor, an apostle, servant of God. Yes, prophet. When they are well connected with heaven, Yes. They don't have to, listen, they don't have to ask God something for you. They can speak and God will not allow their words to fall to the ground. Yes, I receive. Said, hear the voice of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. He says, tomorrow about this time, watch this, a seed of fine flour. Give me the flour. Give me the flour. Give me the flour. No, no, give me the bag. They want to see the bag. Mm -hmm. The first thing he mentions is what? Flour. Now, you have to understand the symbolism behind this. Hmm? In Israel. He names three things. Flour, barley, and... The first thing he mentions is flour. Why flour? I'll tell you. In Israel, flour was the number one commodity next to barley. Barley was the poor man's commodity. And he said, Find flour. Hmm? Flour was very expensive for people to buy. So only the upper people will buy flour. The low people will buy barley. Yes, prophet. But what does that mean? It means that no class will be left behind. Yes, prophet. Whether you are rich or poor in Israel, there will be a turnaround at the gate for you. Amen. So he mentions flour. Flour. And he also mentions barley, right? He says, watch this. He said, he says, these things, by this time tomorrow, they will change at the gate of Samaria. Hmm? Somebody said the gate of the Samaria. The gate of Samaria. They will be sold. They will appear. Eh? What was not there at the gate is coming. The problem that was at the gate is being washed by this time tomorrow. What had kept you crying by this time tomorrow, God is sending flower of solution, amen. flower of breakthrough, I receive, amen. flower of healing, I receive, amen. flower of deliverance. Oh, I receive, amen. by this time tomorrow, yes, what was flower used for? Flower was also used to make bread. I am coming. See, bread, uh, the, the show bread, the show bread was not made out of barley. No, 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 no. God is not a poor God. Eh? No. God likes a high class, yes. high class ingredients. Yes. For the show bread of the temple was not out of barley, it was out of fine flour. Are you listening to me? Yes. With no leaven and some oil in it. Am I talking to somebody? Yes. So now, that's why the prophet said the first thing that's going to change at the gate, the first thing that's going to appear at the gate is the flower. Because the flower is what God wants for his bread. In other words, God is saying, I'm going to take my blessing first. And as I take my blessing, my children will follow with their blessing. My children will not be missed and not looked over. He said, somebody say, flower. Flower here represents deliverance. Amen, I receive. He said, by this time tomorrow, flower will be sold. Because after that time, no flour, no bread. Eh? I said, no bread. No bread. No, no, in Spanish, arepa. No arepa. No arepa. Hmm? No, no, no pastelillos. Uh -huh. No beef patties. No. Because no flour. Yeah? 
No dumplings, no flour, no cake. Son, the reason why, what son, son, where are you? The reason why we bought cake for him, there was flour. Get ready for your cake. Amen. So that's why it's mentioned first. Yes. So ladies and gentlemen, what am I talking about? At the gate of, 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 of Samaria, God said, I'm going to bring us something that will change the situation. Amen. By this time tomorrow, flower is coming. I said flower is coming. Amen. Flower represents a turnaround. Flower represents solution. Amen. Flower represents your problem is over. Amen. You didn't hear what I said in English. Let me say it in English. Flower represents your flower. Your problem has come to an end. Flower represents your trouble has come to expire. Flower represents your situation has to be ceased now. Somebody say yes. yes. At the gate of problem solution so now the lord said to me you preach to them on, on on friday possessing the gate of the enemies is that right yes. Yes. Uh -huh. the lord spoke to me and said go and tell them that not only to possess the gates of the enemy but the, the gate that many of them of life they're still sitting at is a samaria to them and he said to me he said son don't you know i taught you in the bible that that leprosy represents sin i said yes so these two men, they were lepers. I said, yes. He said, but my people are standing, sitting at the gate. And I have cleansed them already from the leprosy called sin. He said, if these two men that were leper were able to have solution, what about my people that are no more? Oh! Yeah. So what are you sitting, what are you doing sitting at that gate? They made a decision. Huh? Yes. Let me read it to you. Because some of you have those little phone, Bible phone. Hmm? And then when you're looking for the verse, a demon will send a call to block, to block the, 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 the. You look, you're looking at the verse and, and call demon. Eh? You, you dismiss the call. You look at, for the verse. Eh? Text. Hmm? Watch, 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 watch. Now, there were four leopards eh? at the entrance of the gate. This is Samaria gate. Mm? There's problem at the gate. Mm? The gate is sieged. Mm? And they said one to another, why are we sitting here until... So that problem that you have, you've been having it for 18 and a half years and three days. It's because you haven't made a decision to come out. Teachers. You haven't made a decision to get up Tell us. and possess your possession. Tell us, prophet. The Bible says, why should we sit here and die? If we go back in, we will die. That's backwards. If we go back, that means mm -hmm, your past. Eh? We will die. But if we go forward, there's a chance that even our enemies will have peace with us. Yes. And because they made a decision to go forward, to go forward according to the word of the Lord of Elisha. They, they heard the voice of Elisha. And they believed Elisha's word. Elisha said by this time tomorrow. The leper said hey the prophet prophesied yesterday. And he said by this time tomorrow. Today is already tomorrow. This is the time that he meant. He said now why are we still sitting here. Didn't he prophesy that this thing was going to change today. Let's go. And the Bible says they went out. Huh? Yes. Why do you think they went out? Because they knew. They didn't know how, but they knew something was going to change. Amen. They went out. And the Bible says that God, the God concocted yes. Eh? Yes. a battle plan against the enemy. Yes. The Bible says that the Syrians at twilight they heard the horse's foot and they say huh the egyptians and the hittites they have been bought by the king of israel to fight against us yes. every man run for themselves and run for your life the bible says they ran and they left everything yes prophet. the two men leopards Eh? Yes, Robert. Leopards. Yes. They will not qualify 
for the blessing but whether you are believer or non-believer if you believe something yes, the bible says that the sun uh, shines on the just and on the unjust the rain comes on the righteous and on the unrighteous they will not qualify as lepers to go into the prophetic blessing but nevertheless they believe the prophet they believe the word of the lord and instead of going backwards they look forward and they went forward and when they went forward god met them outside the tent he said come and receive your spoil you will not have to fight at the syria i've already defeated them just pick up your blessing pick up your spoil pick up your breakthrough pick up your healing Pick up your deliverance. Somebody shout, I am ready. I am ready. And the gate of Samaria changed overnight. Amen. By the word of the Lord. Amen. I speak to you today. I receive. Whatever Samarian gate. Yes, prophet. You, your family, your grandfamily, your children, your, 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 your grandchildren, your father, your mother, your grandfather, great-grandmother. Hey! Today. Yes, prophet. I come from Texas. Yes, prophet. To move you out of your Samarian gate. Yes, prophet. I don't care what you have come for. The Lord said that this tomorrow is now. Yes. Are you listening to what I'm saying? I see. Elijah said by this time tomorrow but the Lord said that Elijah by this time tomorrow for you people is right now in the name of Jesus Amen. Jesus Christ somebody say Jesus, Jesus. oh you're not shouting loud not enough that name somebody say Jesus Christ Jesus Christ, 2,000 years ago, he cried out against the gate of your Samaria when he said it is the Bible says that the gate of Lazarus was the rock that had him inside the tomb. But 2,000 years ago, Jesus came by, by Lazarus Samarian gate called the tomb of rock. And he shouted and he said, remove, remove, remove that gate and said to Lazarus, come forth somebody's coming out of their grave today in the name of jesus jesus is but jesus has resurrection i'm telling you i said by the word of the prophet the situation changed amen two thousand years ago the prophet of prophets yes prophet cried out yes he had a battle cry Somebody said battle cry. battle cry. Somebody said battle cry. battle cry. He cried against your gate of limitation. Yeah. He said, let my people go. Yes. He had a battle cry against the gate of failure. Yes. He said, failure, let my people go. Yes. Some of you don't understand what the cross did for you. By the voice of the Lord, when he said, it is finished, it is the same as when Elijah said, by this time tomorrow, which means when Jesus gave up the ghost and he said, it is finished, he was raised from the dead. That is your tomorrow now in the name of Jesus. Amen. So why sit you there? Eh? Don't look at me like, uh, like you don't know what I'm talking about. Why sit you there? Huh? Every week you're on the prayer line. You're still sitting there. Every service, prayer line. Still sitting at the gate. Every week, same person, deliverance, 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 deliverance. Still sitting at the gate. I come as a prophet. Yes, prophet. That cycle of Samarian gate in your life is broken by the blood of Jesus today, right now. Amen. Lift up your hands to heaven. By this time tomorrow for me is every day. Yes, perfect. Eh? Yes. Today, what I'm enjoying now, right here now. Hmm? I heard the Lord say to me last night, by this time tomorrow. So I'm I'm in it now. Yes, perfect. Eh? Now I enjoy this tomorrow. Now. Then I go home. I go to my prayer room. I hear it again. Oh. Son. By this time tomorrow Monday. Oh yes, brother. I get inside Monday. I'm already inside the word of God by this time tomorrow. Oh yes, yes, yes. I enjoy my tomorrow Monday. 
Yes, I Monday evening, he comes again and says, Hey, son, by this time tomorrow, Tuesday, I enter Tuesday. And that becomes uh, seven days a week, 24 7. I speak to somebody. Every day will be your this time tomorrow. I said every week will be your this time tomorrow. I said every month will be your this time tomorrow in the name of Jesus. Somebody give somebody a high five and say yes. Ed Citronelli Ministry, touching people, touching nations, and touching the world for the glory of Jesus Christ.